King had a dream too, eh? Um, when I was having a dream, the dream came about because of poverty. Now, when I say poverty, I don't mean it in a negative way. Poverty of education, poverty of food, poverty of, you know, it wasn't poverty of love because we always had love in spite of being poor. But I used to be beaten by bigger guys, and I keep saying Trinidad and Tobago was so small, I had to either learn to run or I had to learn to protect myself. So I met a gentleman by the name of Mr. Clyde Thomas, who is deceased now, a prison officer. Long ago, we used to call them turnkey. You know, the young people wouldn't know that, but now it's prison officers or correctional officers. And he started to teach me judo. and. The dream grew from there, from nine years old, into uh, what it is today. So he was a father figure, and he taught me how to say good morning in a certain way, how to say thank you, how to say please, excuse me. He taught me how to, you know, to be a man. The first time I went into prison, I went with him because he was working there. And um, he used to teach the prison officers there, and I used to be his assistant. So he took me into the cell and said to me, you know, there's a lot of crime happening and a lot of things. Don't ever give me or put me through the embarrassment to have to lock you down behind this thing here. And he gave me a tour of the prisons and, and stuff like that. And it motivated me even more to do the best that I can and be the best that I can, you know? And I um, started to train from there and started to get really, really good at, at the martial arts. And I started to cross-train it with, with, with uh, karate and, 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 and then jujitsu and get an uh, uh, opportunity to, um, to travel and experience a different method of globalization of the mind. And that, that was it. was no turning back from, from then. Going to the United States, to Canada, to Japan, to the UK, to different parts of the Caribbean. And you know, every time I go, is like coming back with a new book in my mind as to cultural experiences, different foods, different languages, different type of uh, respect, value systems, and so on. So that in itself was a very, very a good thing for me in the beginning. Then I learned how to use my skill to be able to put food on the table. And not only that, help other people to put food on their table. I never knew that for sure Purple Dragon would have been a branding, a brand name like it is right now. Um, in several countries, in more than 13 countries, are people practicing this. Uh, over 10,000 are people practicing it right now. Over 40,000 people have studied it, passing through the system, you know, and so on. So it is, is a really gratifying experience, it's a positive experience, it's a life changing and enhancing experience for me and if I had to live my life all over again I would do the same exact thing maybe one or two little differences. Mm -hmm. 